This is Justin with Twin Arrow Survival. Had a lot of requests on painting my rifle. I'm gonna to try to walk y'all through it today. Bear with me, it's kind of winning and it is my first video in a long time. So, this is the rifle. I do use suppressors, so I tape the muzzle brake off. I'm not gonna bore y'all with all this taping stuff. You know, tape your turrets, tape the trigger, tape anything you don't wanna get paint on. Here's the rifle. I'm gonna put a coat on it and we'll be right back. And I do some pretty solid big lines because you kind of want them. And I am using several different kind of paints today. Um, I have added some new stuff that I haven't used before. It is from Tractor Supply, Camouflage Spray Paint, um, Olive Drab Flat Finish. So let's check it out and see what they do. I'm gonna go with some more green because I am trying to achieve kind of a woodland type finish. So for the first coat, we're gonna go some big heavy brown stripes and some big heavy green stripes. And I'm kind of rotating them in between. We're trying a new pattern. Usually I do kind of a snakeskin pattern, but I'm gonna try something different today. Nice magpole grip, but nice magpole stock, but I don't want to be seen. So. The point of camouflage is to break up the outline of the rifle. So when you're standing in the woods, you know, it's pretty obvious when a man's standing there with a black rifle. You can be fully camouflaged, but it does no good if they can see your rifle or any kind of shiny objects on your person. So this is the first coat, the first side. We'll be back here shortly in a minute and I'm gonna flip the gun and do kind of the same thing on the other side. So this is kinda of the one side, not quite the finished product. You see there's a lot of green, a lot of brown. Now I'm gonna come back with some other colors and kinda of blend it all in together. But first we're gonna do the other side. Big strokes, you wanna cover a lot of rifle at one time with this. And you, of course, you go with the brown. I'm gonna go back with the green. And man, this camouflage. Don't be scared to try some different things. You know, I usually do this snakeskin pattern, but for this, I figured this, you know, being this is my recce rifle, I'm gonna try to do like a woodland type camouflage on it. And yeah, I don't care. I'll hold the damn trigger down. Everybody's like, little squirt, little squirt, man. I paint for a living. It's camouflage. You ain't going to hurt it. I don't have time to be out here wasting. I got beer to drink. All right, this is the second side. Now we're going to let this dry for a little bit. Hold on. Not finished. Got to do that. Got that. That's the second side. Now we're gonna let this sit for a little bit and I'm gonna show you some other stuff. On this side, I lied. I can't get away from the tiger stripes and the snake pattern. So I got this hamper. It's like a, I guess it was just a cheap dollar store hamper, but you guys in the military have them. They're issued to you. Kind of lay them across. And what we're gonna do is if there's green, it's going brown. If there's brown, it's going green. I'm gonna reverse the patterns this time. I'm gonna kind of do the, like a cross pattern. Now when you pick it up, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but it kind of gives you a snake type pattern on the rifle. I like it. It's kind of my trademark. All my rifles, including my 308 and my uh, M4 carbine are all done with the snake pattern. 
I'm not so sure it's the best for concealment and camouflage, but it looks cool as hell. And if you got too much green, you can always go back over it with brown. So pick it up. It's kind of a faint pattern. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of faint right now, but you can kind of see right through here. Looks a whole lot better off camera. You know, the darks work really good, but I am going to put a little lighter color on it just because I don't like the way it looks totally without any kind of cream on it. Kind of give it that. Oh, here comes the wind. A little bit here in the um, you can see the kind of pattern it gives it just a little little definition to it and that's about all I'm gonna add with that let me get a little bit on the magazine here that is a very bright khaki almost golden color I don't know if I really like that. But I'm going to leave it on there for now. And we're going to flip it and do the other side. All right, so we're back at the other side. So what we're going to do again, we're going to take the netting from the laundry bag. We're going to place it. Like I said, where there's green, we're going to do brown. Where there's brown, we're going to do green. a little bit of this khaki in there just for poops and tickles. Not a lot of that because I really don't like it. It looks silver. All right, carefully we lift this up and we place it on the butt stock. Again, brown over the green, green over the brown. Here comes the wind again. The wind is not my friend, it does not like me today. So we can see the place we messed up here. The thing about camouflage is there's no in particular pattern. If you don't like it, just re-camouflage it. Alright, so let's take this, lay it back over. We're going to accent it a little bit with this color that I don't really care for. I got it, so just kind of piece up here, and now we let it dry. Like I said, this isn't the most intricate of patterns I've done. Um, I used to do a whole lot more, but I'm just trying to break the outline of this rifle up, and in this case, a little bit goes a long way. So we're going to let it dry for a little bit, and then I'm going to put a matte clear coat on it. Unlike some people, I kind of like to protect my weapon. Um, it does look cool, battle-worn, however you want to say it, when you wear it off with your hand and shooting it. But I just like to give it a little extra protection. Good. All right, and uh, the bottom piece, I forgot to tell you guys, you got to do the same thing. Because just give it a little shot. shot I mean is this the most practical way to do it I don't know 
It's the way I do it. It's the way I've been doing it. Am I a trained professional military person? No, I'm not. I'm just a prepared citizen that believes in the Second Amendment and the right to bear arms. And if something happens, I'd rather be prepared than unprepared. So, and all the guys that I've learned from, you know, camouflage your gun. Kind of important. So I've just attached it over the years to doing it, and I've done a lot of them. Uh, I've done a lot of them for certain people. Um, a lot of my buddies just come to me all the time and be like, hey man, camouflage my gun. It is really simple. He has the principle of it. Now we let it dry for a little bit, and I'll be back. All right, for the clear coating process, I just use a matte finish clear coat. Um, just liberally apply it everywhere. Anywhere you don't really want anything to wear off. I mean, it's still going to wear off. Nothing's 100%. But any little bit of insurance keeps it kind of looking cool, and once you start shooting it, it's going to start wearing off in certain points anyways but this kind of kind of helps keep everything on so what I'll do is I usually pick it up of course I do have some camo wrap that's also going on this rifle so I wasn't quite as generous as with the camouflage as I usually am. I do have this camo wrap. And thanks to my brother at Rep Texas. Gotta go check his channel out. He's badass. Love him to death. He uh, helped me out with some stuff for my ghillie suit. So I'll be making a video on my ghillie biker hood here soon, too. Now we just wait. That is the finished product. That is how Justin from 20 Air Survival camouflages his rifle. Hope y'all enjoyed the video and it helped y'all some.